What's up guys? Welcome back to the Classic Car Maintenance Channel. In today's video, we'll show you how to easily test for parasitic draw and find the culprit in less than 10 minutes. Let's get to it. Ever had an almost dead car battery and charged it, only for it to be dead again the next morning? Well, this often means that you have a parasitic draw. A parasitic draw is a small electric current drain that happens after the ignition is switched off. This is usually caused by a bad ground or an electrical component still being active and using power, causing your car battery to drain overnight. The only tool you need to test this is a multimeter with an amp setting. It's super simple. First, you gotta find the battery, which is usually located under the hood close to the engine. Then you need to make sure all the electronics are turned off and all the doors are closed, so there are no interior lights draining power from the battery giving a false reading. If you have a hood light, you need to manually unplug it so it doesn't light up and use power when you pop the hood open. With modern cars, you want to wait half an hour after shutting the car off because the system and computer need longer to turn off. Otherwise, this too will give a false reading. You can measure parasitic draw with the positive or negative side of the battery, but I highly recommend using the negative side. This removes the danger of creating a short against the ground, which is a lot safer. First check if your battery is fully charged. If your battery is charged, unhook the negative side so you can place the multimeter in between the negative terminal and the ground cable. Turn the dial to DC amps on the highest setting and put the red lead in the correct position to measure amps. It's always advised to start with the highest amp setting and work your way down if necessary to avoid blowing a fuse in your multimeter. As you can see, it measures 2 milliamps, which is normal. Parasitic draw is normal under 50 milliamps. Anything higher than that is a problem and should be checked and fixed. There will always be parasitic draw in modern cars due to the computer still being active in the background. So if you read zero, something might be wrong with your multimeter. As you can see, with a working multimeter, there is no excessive parasitic draw. So we're going to simulate this by turning our key to the accessory position so the radio draws power. We now have a significant parasitic draw and we can show you how the process works. Let's pretend we don't know where it comes from. First, you locate the fuse boxes. Usually there is one under the hood for all the engine related stuff and one or two inside the car for the rest. Usually on the driver or passenger side or behind the glove box like in our Jeep. A trick that I like to use is to clamp the leads to the battery post and cable. This way, you can place the multimeter against the windshield and read the parasitic draw while pulling out fuses. You don't need to have a helping hand read the multimeter or walk back and forth yourself the entire time. What you do next is very simple. You take out the fuses one by one to see if the parasitic draw drops when taking that fuse out. If it drops when removing the fuse, you know the problem is situated in one of the components that is connected to the fuse. As you can see, nothing happened when taking out this fuse. When placing it back, make sure it is all the way in there. You repeat this process until the parasitic draw drops when pulling out that fuse. When pulling out this fuse, the parasitic draw goes away completely, so we found the culprit. But sometimes it will only drop partially, so you'll have to continue looking for a second or third parasitic draw. Now you know what fuse is the problem. You need to look at the schematic of the fuse box or your car's wiring diagram to see what component is connected to that fuse. As you can see here, this fuse is for the radio which we turned on as an illustration. If you can't read your multimeter or have no one to help you while you're taking out fuses, you can also take out entire rows at once to speed up the process. But it's best to take a picture first so you know where the fuses came from. When you've located the parasitic draw, you can fix it. So in this case, turn off the power to the radio. That's all there is to it. Let's do a final check to make sure. The parasitic draw is now lower than 50 milliamps. Problem? solved. Thanks for watching. If you liked our video, please consider liking and subscribing. More videos are on the way, so we'll see you on the next one.